Good morning, Magic Moon Wanderers. Good morning. I'm Janine. Uh, wait, what? Switching it up today. Welcome back, Magic Moon Wanderers. It's me, Rid, and me, Janine. And me. Oh, 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 wait, I am. <laughs> and me, <you> now. <laughs> Talking to the moon. We booked two double rooms at Take Solace on Booking.com and it is owned by a man called John Angus. You come up and the bathroom is here. Very quaint. I am a little bit in love with this soap dish. And then in here is our little cute room. And then look at that view. Just the sea. So this is the inside of the house that we're staying in. We've just come down at breakfast time. And John Angus has left us a lovely little note and a map with some places of interest. We're going to be heading up the north end of the island today, all the way up to the Isle of Butt. This house is like a treasure trove and it's right on the beach. But... We didn't come here to stay in. Let's go! We've started to see the contrast between Harris and Lewis today. We saw it a little bit yesterday, but you can tell that Lewis is definitely flatter, just more kind of a vast landscape rather than Harris, and Harris is more mountainous. This morning we're going to go up to the but of Lewis um, and we're just going to explore the north of the island we haven't got a massive itinerary we're going to go and find some breakfast and yeah we'll see what we find today who knows I bet you it's going to be as magical as yesterday then. what are they? oh aren't they lovely they're like they've got names on them Oh, I love them. I can actually imagine coming to a place like this with our easel and our paints and just, yeah, just being really, really free. So peaceful, so tranquil, look at that. And John Angus, our guest, our host, sorry, has sent us here because he said that there's another interesting uh, stone circle here. So up the slope, there's remains of prehistoric, prehistoric oval enclosure and structure. So we're going to go up and have a nose. Hey, this feels like a, a little bit of a hike. There's lots of boggy bits though, so be careful. There's actually quite a few stone circles uh, on this island. I mean, there's loads all over the UK. Some are more famous than others. I never really know why ones are more famous than other because Callanish stone circles so much I don't know there's just so much more energy there than what I felt at Stonehenge um, and you can actually touch them but not many people have heard of them so I think it's always good to go and explore other ones just to see what the energy is like for you see what you feel about them some people just see stones <laughs> that's okay but if you're a bit like me and you feel energy from inanimate objects, yeah, come up here. Oh, where are they? Come on, lazy legs! <laughs> it says that these ruins, um, they haven't been scientifically excavated, so they don't know the age or exactly what they were. You can see where the tall stones have um, fallen over. Uh, but there is a tall stone on the outside of each bit of here. So they would have been standing like the ones at Kalanish. And you can just see the row of more stones going up that way.
We haven't even had breakfast yet and this is what we're doing. This is beautiful. That's Luna talking to a sheep. Yeah, it will be. No need for a hair dryer up here, is there? We found a little uh, cafe, gallery, etc. called uh, the Port of Ness Community Centre, I think it's called. Oh, look at all those flowers! Oh, it's super cute. Yeah, this is the name of it. Thank you so much. This is the exhibition of a photographer who lives on Stornoway. Oh, look at that bird. Sorry, you can see the fluorescent lights from the ceiling sometimes flickering on the camera. Wow. These are some photography. Well, this is some photography. If there's any grammar police out there that want to correct me. The place is really, really pretty. It's got some really interesting things. There's the peat. So we finally just found the Essence of Harris Candle collection. Um, and I'm just gonna take a picture of this with me so I can read it later. We also do wax melts. We don't want to choose just one candle, so I think I might get them. So, so it's 11.43 and we haven't had breakfast or lunch yet. And we've managed to do quite a lot of stuff without managing to find somewhere to eat. We've just seen a little brown sign to a tourist thing that said, um, what does it say? Food trail. What to say before that? It said, I just see Outer food. Hebrides. <laughs> it said Outer Hebrides food trail. So we're going down this road looking for food. I know that banana does not count. We only took that out because John left it to us and we didn't want to be rude. Location, 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 shop out there and then it's so dinky in here it's about to get really really busy and that's our view look at that window have you seen that window behind you guys it's called the brick and it opens at 12. how cute is that course all that too is a homemade pizza that looks amazing.
this rock? The last pure tears. Is it? Let's see. Stay close by Di, please, Luna. Wow. <gasps> Look at the colour of that. Right, where the hell is Snell going? Because he's making me very nervous. No, 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 no. Please stay here. Wow. Can you stay with your mum, please? <laughs> One, okay. One slip of the foot and that's it. Okay, well we haven't and I'm scared. Ah! No, you stay hold of my arm or we go back to the car. Shit the bed yet, I am scared right now. No, 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 you do not let go of me. Luna's like eating a fruit thing. Fruit roll up and I feel the Tesco or Beard Ambo Target, whatever you are. They're nice. I'm feeling like a little bit of a lemming right now, like I'm just going to fall off the edge. I've got tight holes of Luna's arm in here and she is not letting go of me. This is the very north of the island then just towards the butt of Lewis. I'm going to go up and see the lighthouse and maybe a little church along the way. We're just driving past the house and outside it's got this amazing boat for sale and it says that it's £300. That's the church. I think it's called St. St. Moluag's Church. Just there. And this is the little path next to a house. Oh, thank you, love. You're such a gentleman. Isn't that gorgeous? Oh, look at this. <laughs> oh. Oh, the people in the back say that again. Go on. It's, so it's closed. It's today. been closed it's been all this closed time. Because of COVID and they've just officially been given the okay to open today for the first time. And literally just as we were about to leave, the ladies just came with the keys to open the Hello. door. Hi. Hi. Yes, what a lucky day. Oh, it really is. Now that is an intervention of the greatest kind. These things few happening to us on this island. Beautiful gifts just keep appearing. I will not tell you to ship. This is beautiful. Wow. You heard about this window I've heard a little bit and I what just from the outside I spotted it through the other one and I wasn't sure which bit came first. This building dates from the 12th century. The site is believed to have been consecrated in the 6th century and is where Christianity was first preached in Lewis. Saint Malwag, companion of Saint Columba, found the chapel here. It was referred to as Stolats after 13th century. The Black of Norway. This chapel is one of four places of holy pilgrimage in Scotland for the cure of insanity and sores and is one of the remotest Christian outposts in Europe. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Goosebumps all over. Christ be our light. <laughs> wow. They've got a prayer tree, so I'm just going to leave a little prayer for some close friends who need some prayers right now. The sun is right behind you, however, we just had to pop on quickly because the lovely Dorothy and Alan, who were the volunteers, 
at the church. Just let us have a little tour and told us about things and the church is now open for people to go and visit and she was saying people even book weddings there from like America and it's usually such a very busy church. She was also telling us about some of the difficulties that we've experienced during the pandemic and how the community really pulled together and it was just really heartwarming wasn't it? It was just so lovely. Bye. <laughs> We're now at the butt of Lewis, which is the highest point in Lewis. Um, and over the sea from here is Iceland. With that, Iceland. <laughs> Where are we, Di? The Isle of Butt. The Isle of the Butt. Northernmost point of Lewis. Does this little information That's not the Isle of Butt, is it? No, it's the butt of Lewis. I'm going to. No, I'm going to. I have to put all the words that I get wrong on it, so I'm putting yours on too. We're at the Just stumbled on bulk pottery, so we're gonna go and have a little nose in here. In here, <gasps> look at the bones. from where we're staying are the black houses uh, and the black houses are houses that they used to live in on the island yeah these are the Arnold ones the Arnold black houses What's Peter's like something that you get from the ground so they're, they're closed now it's late look at that little cute house at the end of the door though it's just so quaint and adorable <laughs> Look at all these old over here, remnants of houses from long ago. Close is up for. But yeah, it shows you. So, this here, what they're burning there is called peat, and you'll have noticed piles of it in people's gardens because they still use it for the fires now, but it turns the whole of the inside black. Oh my god, is So, that that's why they're called black houses. And these, yeah, you can see them in the gardens. I know that's straw. Piles of straw. That's not peat. Can you imagine living in these? You think it'd be horrific? I think it'd be dead cosy. But this is the whole house, so the bedrooms, the kitchen, everything is just in here. It's just big enough that door to let you in. And the animals lived inside too. Other than the kids, you can hear how quiet it is.
this is an old black house. Um, on your left is the stone and turf wall, which mark the boundary between the cross lines for the crops and the in bay for grazing animals. So that's steamed up all the things. <laughs> they just gave it. There we go, I we're back again. Filter, filter. <laughs> so this would have been a stable. Oh, it actually says they're stable. It's just that these don't have uh, roofs. And then... This is the second room. This is quite a big room though, really. The hearth. These get smaller and smaller. Oh, ow. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> this is so cute. I could sew off this as my bedroom. I don't know how I'm getting under this. <laughs> okay, let's give this a go. <laughs> I'm trying to get through here. Yeah. <laughs> Are you stuck? I think I might be stuck. No, I'm not stuck. I don't think. I'm just going to... Oh my god! <laughs> oh my gosh, how funny! This is our last night in um, John Angus's house, and yeah. we are all packed and ready for tomorrow. Um, you probably want wondering why I'm so high up. Let me show you. So I'm actually sat in a window seat. Oh, sugar! Overlooking the sea. You can open this oh God, we'll close it up, all the way up, like this. Okay, now close it. And now, do you want to see Me. the view? No, the view. So, I'm going to watch the sunset from here. And I'm going to just. <laughs> and on that note, thank you again for joining us on our Scottish adventure. It's a very, very special trip. <laughs> no, I know. We are having the best time, if not very tiring and very, um, very contemplative. Um, these kinds of places and these kinds of travels do that to you, don't they? But we hope everybody is okay. We are sending love as always to everybody um, and to some people in particular. And you know who you are. Um, you're always with us in our hearts. So that said, I hope you enjoyed this video. Do don't forget you can click the subscribe button, hit the notification bell, press the like button and leave a comment down below. So that said, stay awesome, stay wild, love yourself, do it little and change it. Bye Magic Moon Wanderers! Bye! Bye Magic Moon Wanderers! <laughs> <laughs>